Yo, what's up guys? I'm here for a little, little tutorial. Um, it's basically a little tutorial on how to set up blueprints and um, like cutting them and sizing them so they all fit that you can use them to model a design. Uh, I simply, all I did is I googled um, I went to images, Google Google Images, and I searched uh, 2011. Oops. I searched 2011 Dodge Challenger SR38. Oh, blueprints. Uh, actually, you know what I did search? I just searched Dodge Challenger Bus or T8. I didn't search the 2011. And what I got was this picture right here. And it has four views. It has our top. It has our right view. Right or left? I'm not quite sure. I believe it's the right. Uh, the front and the back. I saved this image. And then I brought it into my Photoshop. Once in your Photoshop, um... This is really tricky. I don't know 100% how to do it by myself, and it's sometimes a pain. But basically, for let's we have the four views, and if you look at them, they are all already proportioned to the right size, like um, the top. The top in the right view, if you look, they are the same length. You can, it's really hard to see those little lines. Don't know how to change the color though. Um, rulers extra. Anyways, um, if you can see these little lines, good. If you can't, I'm sorry, but um, they show that the the top view and the right view are actually the same size. This one just looks much bigger because it's showing the top. Um, if you look at the back view and the side view, they're actually the, the same height. I'll just drag out two more rulers. And from the tires to the roof, the same height. This is showing that they are actually um, all proportioned. Uh, the hard part is cutting them out and then making them the same size. Um, how can I do this? If I take the, I'm not even sure what tool that is, rectangular marquee tool, I don't know what it's called, and I I make it so it's the same size as the car here. Uh, can you resize this thing? No, we can't. Uh, <laughs> the only way to do this thing is to get it. I don't use Photoshop at all just letting you guys know I'm a noob at it uh, trying to find a way to draw something out here this is not going to be a very helpful tutorial <laughs> unless I can figure out how to do this shit you can't even see that anyways yeah, I'll do it the new way. I'll crop out this image and I'm gonna just size it so that it's perfectly touching each is right on the bottom of the wheels, right on the top of the of the car. And uh, if I crop the image, we're gonna get the front view here. If I open up another image and find the same one, Did nothing. Go new. Does it open up a new thing or a new? All right. 
perfect. And then if I open for my dots challenger blueprints. Oh my god. Let's say I go save as Dodge Challenger Blueprints front. Okay. Now maybe it'll, it'll let me open. Yeah. I just had to rename it about 17 times. Alright, now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing as the front view to the back view <laughs> basically you do that for all the views until you you get all of them and then after that I'll show you how to import them into Cinema 4D so that you can use them so you can see them in your uh, editor view and then, uh, then from there, you start modeling. I already put out the how to model a car technique. There's many ways how to model a car. There's endless ways actually to model a car. There's one where you put all the dots or something and then you bridge them all together, which is extremely time consuming. And then there's plane modeling oh, spell down but and then there's the plane modeling one and then there's uh, point modeling I believe and it's endless that's what it is okay we are coming extremely close to finishing this it's my favorite car how long seven minutes just to do this part. I think I fail at life. And right. Now that I've officially failed at life, I'm going to come into Cinema 4D. And now we have, uh, if you come into our perspective view, I'm going to come to the right, the right um, view. And if you go edit and then you go to config configure you get display filter view back HUD come to the back and it says image click on the little button beside it and find your image and since this is our right view we're gonna put our right car but you can notice but you notice um, it's not centered which I'm not sure yet if it's affecting it it depends how um all the others windows pop up so i'm just going to go ahead and do that for each window and that is the what window is that that's the front view front yeah you can see this one centered it and then this one's not centered uh which kind of puts some problems but i'll show you how to fix that uh, configure, and then we'll put the top one in. And it centers this one too. Centered that one. I don't know why, but it didn't. Oh. Um, this is the one here that gives us problems, I believe. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, how can I do this? I'm going to take a cube and I'm going to put it in my scene and I'm going to make it flat. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit, have a little bit of thickness so we can see it. I'm just going to drag it out and I'm going to put it right where the roof starts. I'm going to copy and paste and drag it to where the tires are. And holy shit, that makes a difference. It's telling me that is how tall my car is supposed to be. So I'm going to come to configure. Add a 
big. I don't know why it's supposed to be so big. That's how big it's supposed to be. Well, and um, just one thing for this. Uh, we have our right view and our front view. And then if you look, we have our side view. And our side view is going from X, right along the X um, axis. And if we're following this, like we're modeling it this way, so if I put like a cube in here and I stretch it out this way, I'll change the, so you can see, now you can see the gray. This is the length of my car. And I'm, if I'm modeling it this way, now I'm gonna come into my top view. Look what happens. Our picture here has to be rotated so it follows along the Z axis. So it matches our right view. So what we actually have to do, which was my mistake, I'm gonna come back into my Photoshop file and I'm gonna go image, uh, I'm terrible at this, counter, 90 counterclockwise. You wanna have the nose facing down and then I'm just gonna save that. Come back into Cinema 4D and reload the image of my car. Boom, like so. And just to make sure they're the same length, I'm gonna follow the same procedure as I did before with the cubes. I'm just gonna put them at either end of my car. And you can look, boom, they're the same. This can actually be a little bit smaller, this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink that down and there we go now we got three uh, basically proportioned uh, sides and if you want you can go um, configure all view no configure all filter and then if you don't want the grid you can take off the grid so that you don't have that blocking uh, your view uh, so, you, so you don't have all these lines around your car and it's easier to see. But anyways, other than this poor tutorial about how to, how to set up your blueprints in Cinema 4D, um, I hope I gave you the idea how to do it and um, helped you a bit. Then from here you just start your plane modeling, grab your plane, grab your plane, position that and then yeah, this is difficult there you go and then just raise it up and get to it that's where, okay. that's where the back of it is yeah that makes sense see they're all the same size all the same height there come to the bottom you can't really tell in the top one but that's come to the very back where the back is very front but yeah anyways um hope you guys found this useful i hope the guy that suggested it found it useful i don't i forget what his name was um but yeah uh please leave comments about the tutorial like it if you like the tutorial if this helped you like it, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, well, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.